Okay, start talking. <laughs> <laughs> You're on Mess with me. Hmm? Okay. Who do I want to talk to about? Oh, Jesus. Oh, John, I'm going to ask you some questions and try to be serious. Yeah, get a match. Thank you. Okay, serious. All right. Um. Yes, what's the question? Do you have a question? This is not my fault. I'm just being if paid you were to make a movie, yes. if they were to make a movie about your life, what mm -hmm. would it be about? It would be about something different than my life. People wouldn't come and see me. This is, no, I'm teasing you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a minute. I'll be serious. <laughs> we can't do this. <laughs> yes. I understand you're difficult to work with, that you throw temper tantrums and that you're an asshole. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, that's true. I mean, if you're going to do it, do it all the way. I'm not temperamental. I'm t uh, um, I can't paint, and I can't uh, draw, and I can't sculpt. So I have to have some outlet for my fake artistic qualities. No, I saw a painting that you did this afternoon. It was very good. You were only five years old. Thank you. Of course, that was the site of a house. It's burned down now. What about your bathroom fetish? What about it? Yeah. Um, Why do you stay in the bathroom for five hours at a time I on set? I don't know. It's a shitty habit. I've got <laughs> I've, I don't have a habit of doing that. Sometimes I hide in other places so that they can't find me. But usually the bathroom is the only place with a lock on the door. Um, Can't read your own writing, huh? Do you think anybody hates you? <laughs> Just those who know me. <laughs> Don't shake. You're laughing at the camera. Do you always come on time? Stop that. No, I am incessantly late. Uh, Habitually tardy. I know, I'm talking about during the filming. On time come, you and me. Yes. On time, yes. Do you like women? Frequently. What kind of women do you like, really? Brown ones. Oh, I got a good one. Okay, now that we're serious, now we can do this. <laughs> now we get to the meat of the now matter. Now, I'd like to know, um, what do you call yourself? A whore, a hooker, or a gigolo? Or something along that line? What do I call myself? I mean, because Whore, because hooker, and gigolo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. Besides Just the fact slap that you're my a porno star, huh? you also, on the side, at home and stuff. On the back, pull on tricks. front, side, yeah, all different positions. You also pull tricks. Tricks mm -hmm. are for kids. Do you pull tricks on the side? <coughs> yes, I do. And on my uh, and you're back. And you're doing this on film? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Do you pay a lot of money to do this? Yes, I do. Don't you think that's amazing? No, I think it's... Uh, I mean, you're pretty shitty in bed from what I've observed. <laughs> is this going to be... On, are you, is this going to be edited out or what? Yeah, we're going to edit it. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, sure, right. See that on film. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is completely I'm spontaneous. I'm asking you that this, because I, don't, I never did this, and I already told you that. Okay. I'm asking you questions about when you're a whore or a hooker, whatever you call that. Mm -hmm. Gigolo. Slut. What, how do you approach it? Uh, frontally, basically. What do you do with the girl? Or do you do boys? Could we get some an interviewer with more experience? <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, I'll ask you direct right question. When you go on to a date and you're taking out a lady and she's going to pay you money, Yes. where do you take her, what do you do with her, how do you act? Do you, do you ever go out in public and you get recognized and they ignore her and what does she say? What Where do I take her? I take, take her as far as I can. I act like a fool. Uh, do you take her anywhere? I mean, maybe you just take I her. No, I take her to dinner. I take her dancing. I take her, whatever she happens to be into. It's what I happen to uh, go along with. If she likes disco, we disco. If she likes punk disco? rock, I don't take her out. If she likes uh, um, museums, I can strut. And do you disco dance? I, yeah, I've been known to. How come you never took me? 
I have frequently. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll just do a different line of questioning. Okay. Um, a lot of nice people fabric. want me, a lot of people would like to know, this is your house. And this is your This life. is my house. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people Could would be like right. to know how you got started in films. How I got started in films? Um, Were you just wandering around the street? No, I was day? starving to death. I was going to uh, uh, architectural college and... Uh, Architectural college? Studying structures and such. And starving to death, you know. Finally had to quit. I couldn't find a place to park. And, but during the interim period, I, I had a girl next door to me, and she asked me if I would like to make $100, whereupon I wanted to know who I had to kill. And, but I was willing to kill anyway. $100 is a lot of money. And uh, uh, so uh, she said it was for porno film. I said, no, of course not. You know, governor of the state can't make porno films. John, so, I'll have to interrupt you here. Yes. What I'm trying to get at is... I made a stag film with the girl who was a prostitute next door to me in my apartment building for $100. When you were a child and you got into the boys' locker room in eighth grade, seventh grade, you mean when I snuck through from the girls' side the first time I'd ever been in a boys' locker room? <laughs> and, you, and you went into the locker room and, you know, you all have to, like, strip down and stuff. Were you unusually large at the time? Yeah, there was a lot of uh, pony cock jokes running around. And, uh... What'd the kids think? That I was larger than their fathers. Really? <laughs> Help me. Help me. <laughs> Couldn't we go by a script? No, <laughs> this is spontaneous. Oh, I'm I don't care if I waste this film. I'll throw it out if there's nothing in it. Believe okay. me, like that tape you did for me the other night. Okay. The home tape. Um, no, I'm real curious to know personally. What happened when you were a kid and everybody saw that you had this big piece of meat there and they didn't have it? Weren't they jealous? Uh, some were, some weren't. Yes. Did did they? Then it wasn't. Then it was an obvious thing. How it was that? obvious since I'd been dropping it in the toilet since I was four. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think it was weird? It was cold. Did your parents have to help you? <laughs> no, I usually drug it out by myself. <laughs> Are we talking about two different things here? It doesn't matter because I'll flip it all together. I figured that. What, it's <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out is... Are you sure I'm getting paid for this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm trying to figure out is when you were a kid. But the other kids at school thought of you. I mean, did girls hear about you and want to fuck you? Or they did, yes. Did they come and try to fuck you? Or they did, they yeah, yes, away? frequently. Wait, when I did an interview on the street, nobody wanted to fuck you because you were too big. Yeah. Did you ever that line you were going to use? Oh, the one, the one we made on the way. See, you said that it was about the, the girl who you interviewed who said, what did she say? <laughs> she said she would faint. Oh, yeah, oh, yes. Do girls faint when they see this? Do girls faint when they see this? Uh, they don't actually faint to the point that they fall down and hit their head. Usually they just faint halfway, you know, like falling to their knees. <laughs> <laughs> Camera <Yeah>. shaking. <laughs> um, do you have any kids? Uh, kids? Uh, yeah. No, I like horses. <laughs> I understand you like dogs also. I like dogs, yes. What kind of dogs? Uh, it's uh, bow wow types and kind of bark and bite and things. Okay, let's talk about your personal. Boston life. Bull Terrier. I like but dachshunds, uh, chihuahuas, uh, Great Danes, Labrador. I like all kinds of dogs. Cats. Do you like have cats. dogs in your mansion here? No. <laughs> the, the producer <laughs> and the interviewer is <laughs> <laughs> Okay, wait. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay. When you when you started out, uh, I understand that you were. Um, Hanging around the set, you were a grip or a gaffer or something. Like I that. did. Yeah, I did everything. Grip. And then gaffer, all of a sudden, gopher. one day they needed an insert shot, and they said, "Help us!" And <laughs> Sean raised his hand. No, no, no. That's absolutely. I didn't. I. I never did that. Well, what did you do? I. I literally. I did made a uh, stag film with uh, my next door neighbor for a hundred dollars. Really? Yes. She asked me if I wanted to make a hundred dollars. She knew of someone who wanted to make a stag film and wanted somebody. Uh, overtly large <laughs> in personality. How do they know you were large? 
she had uh, borrowed things from me like cups of sugar, uh, pieces of ass, and things. And word got around. Um, so then, anyway, you went on. Is that a run out yet? Or no. Hold it. Let's cut for a second. Okay, John, now what I was getting back to is about how you get started. Which Did is you ever on. think you would be famous? Or I still don't think do I'm going to be famous. famous now? You are famous. I'm not famous. I did an interview on the street. You were famous. Everybody knew you. Everybody? Yes, er almost everybody that was. Okay. Okay, John, now what I was getting back to is about how you get started. Which Did is you ever on. think you would be famous? Or I still don't think do I'm going think to be famous. famous now? You are famous. I'm not famous. I did an interview on the street. You were famous. Everybody knew you. Everybody? Yes. Er almost everybody that we talked to. Almost is not a household name. Who didn't know me? A few people. I want their name. A couple of your old tricks, they didn't know you. But did you ever think that would happen to you? Uh, probably. And especially over such an unusual case. What's unusual? Everybody's got one. Well, at least half the people I know of. <laughs> the other half are just envious. Do you have of any, one uh, one at all. Does your brothers and sisters have things that are that big? I don't have any brothers and sisters. You have none? No. I thought you had some. Nope, no brothers, no sisters. Are you lying? No. Well, there's a rumor around that you had a couple of brothers. God, do you know if all the rumors that were spread about me were true, it would wear to a nubbin? Do you have um, image problems, like behavior problems because of your image? You have to act a certain no, way. No, no, I've been housebroken for years. When you go out in public, sometimes you don't want to act that way. You have to act macho. I never act macho. Never? No. Don't you use that as a strategy oh, for tricks? Hmm? A strategy? Yeah. No. I go for the ones who like uh, uh, feminine guys. Um, everything, in, everything in life is an act. Everything. Do you it's like the, the performance that counts? On stage and do you feel that's bad I like stage part? acting better than, uh, than camera acting. I apologize. But I do like uh, stage acting. Much better. It's I'm talking about when you're acting in the movie. Do you act on stage in a movie? Or are you actually enjoying what you're doing? Yes. Why do you make such monkey faces when you're coming? Because when monkeys come, they make faces. I just learned to mimic monkeys. Yeah, but you're They're not, not monkey faces. They are uh, faces of ecstasy. Why do you do this? Well, it's, it's better than just going. Uh, 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 uh. Is that how you do it when you're at home? I, I don't come at home. Why not? It's because I'm not getting paid. That's awful. What about your old lady? I don't have one. You don't? I have bunches of them. Yeah, I've heard about them. You have several. Thousands. Where do they live? All over the place. <laughs> do you like, um... Yes? Do you take drugs? No. Never? They take me. No, I don't take drugs. I don't even like aspirins. I am a kind of a healthy person. I don't You're need drugs. Are you vegetarian? No, no, no. I'm not a vegetarian, but I'm just basically healthy. Therefore, I don't need uh, drugs. So I'm not a sick type of person. Mentally, possibly. <laughs> I cannot go on yet. Um... No, I'm not done yet. Mm -hmm. Just calm down. I'm trying to read to my notes. Did uh, do you ever get bored on the set? And if you do, what do you do? I never get bored on the set. <laughs> bored on the set. Excuse me. Um, are you rich? Am I rich yes. in experiences? No. Are you rich in monetary? Well, you have a nice house here. Okay, it looks quite a bit like a studio on that side of my house. This side it looks great. <laughs> What kind of car do you drive? A lot of people want to know. A lot of people's cars. <laughs> no, I have a uh, 1954 Ford Fairlane convertible with lots of dents in it. 
If you could say anything to your fans, what would you say? Save your money. Go back to the radio. <laughs> on. They're not going to like that. Sure they aren't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've seen you Where did gamble. You get I want to know about gambling. I've seen you gamble. I'm going to you Vegas. What do I look luck. like an expert? You have an incredible luck when you're gambling, and I'd like to know how you explain it. Uh, it's, um, some people are good at being lovers. Some people are good at being gamblers. And you're good at being... Uh, good in bed, bad at the tables, vice versa. No, you're very good at the table. That's what I said. <laughs> do you um, produce and you direct your own film? Yes, I don't. No, you do, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. Yes. What kind of movies do you direct? Um, all types of films. Anything that uh, anything that I'm contracted to uh, to uh, shoot. You put you invest direct. into yourself. Yes, I do. I do industrial films, donut machinery. Uh, it's religious films, travel logs. Uh, religious. Any type of film. Religious film. Yes, travel logs. Any type of film that uh, can be put down on celluloid, I'll shoot it. We, um, a lot of people also would like to know what happened to the ring that you used to wear. Oh, the, I wore a ring for t It's in my safety deposit box. Oh. I, t I take it out only. It's insured. You carry a weapon. Sorry. I hate to ask a loaded question. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I don't carry a weapon. But don't people sometimes try to attack you? I, I frequently, yeah. But I don't need a weapon to ward them off. No, I understand that sometimes... Sense of humor is invaluable. Sometimes <laughs> people try to beat you up on the street because you make pornography. Um, I don't think it's because I make pornography and they don't like pornography. I think it's because of another reason. What? Uh, like, they show their mov my movies at their house and their old lady gets turned on to them and it pisses them off. No, I'm serious. I've had, uh, I've been attacked a few times and, and they've been screaming tirades of uh, how... Uh, Pissed off they are that their old lady gets into watching me, and not them or something. I go, why take them home? Leave them at you know in the bookstore, and then you know your old lady won't get pissed off. Do you think a lot of men are jealous of you? And, no, I don't think so. Not many. I, I, I Some? don't know that many men. Do you think men are envious of you? I don't think so. I think they are. Are you envious of me? Yes. won't even answer Will that. Will you make a few faces no, to the camera? No, I won't. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. No, I don't think, uh, it's, I Do think you have people being jealous of me is a totally uh, irrelative thing. I think if they are jealous of me, it's part of the mystique of being uh, somebody that I'm not, of being the person that's on cellular. I'm t uh, two different people. I am um, myself, who more I portray on a natural level, being just acting idiotic and being natural. And then the other person is uh, is is a fantasy, is uh, is a uh, is a part of it's a figment of somebody else's imagination. I am what you want me to be. If you are envious of what I am or do or can be or I have, then that's part of the mystique of why you pay attention to me, and that makes sales and makes people go to films and buy films. If you uh, uh, enjoy watching what I do, that is an interest level. Everybody has or sees into that character which I portray, which is not me. I'm I'm just like anyone else. That's just somebody on film. Sorry about that. It's, uh, it's tough making the split sometimes. Like, uh, like when I go to the bathroom, I have total relativity of everything. <laughs> when I sit on the throne, I am who I am. That's all what I am. Uh, but when I'm out on the street, it is sometimes difficult uh, when being faced by fans or being faced by uh, people with knives and guns, <laughs> trying to explain to them that I'm two different people. They go, yeah, right, where's the other guy? We want to kill him. And I go, sorry, that's me too. So what happens when you go to bed with someone and you really want to go to bed with them because you enjoy that person? Don't they have like a great expectation of you? Basically, for good, good healthy, wholesome sex, um, I masturbate. <laughs> you don't even have to brush your teeth. Do you ever find women that can appreciate the difference in the character? Uh, I don't think um, most relationships that I have uh, uh, on a one-to-one -one basis goes to that point of depth which they try to find or ascertain the difference. Basically, they uh, get involved with me for one of 
one reason. <laughs> and uh, it doesn't go beyond that. If it goes beyond that, then they're stepping out of their uh, fantasy involvement with myself. And once they discover that I am not whom they think I am or whom I portray to be, then uh, uh, they back off. Why? Good taste, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Love? Have I ever been in love? Yeah, five times. With who? Old lady thumb and her four daughters. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever I'm honestly teasing. ever been in love? No. Never? Just twice. And what kind of women were these angels? One was a guy and the other one was a woman. What was the guy all about? Uh, it's, I don't know. I, it's, it's me and I've yet to find out about myself yet. And the other one was just a fickled foreign type. What was wrong with her? Are you still in love with her? No, I'm in love with everybody. Are you in love with this, or ever were, were you ever in love with a singular woman? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thousands of times. <laughs> I, I mean, a person... Am I beating around this question? Yes. Well, you want to go to the next one? <laughs> no. I'd like you to answer the question. Yes. Are we close to a run out? Pretty close. <laughs> okay, keep going. Um, I'm asking you if you've ever yes, been Yes, I have been in love, yes. With a foreign woman? With, with everyone's foreign. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we all can't be American Indians. I mean, would you mind sharing that with the public? Yes, I would, actually. <laughs> I would <laughs> like to just lay your two out in front of the would world. Would you mind sharing it with me? Because I'd like to know who it is. Cut. <laughs> <laughs>